There once was a boy named Gimme Some Roy. He was nothing like me or you, because laying back and getting high was all he cared to do. As a kid, he sat in the cellar, sniffing airplane glue. Then he smoked banana peels when that was a thing to do. He tried aspirin and Coca-Cola. He breathed helium on the sly. And his life became an endless search to find the perfect high. But grass just made him want to lay back and eat chocolate chip pizza all night. <laughs> and the great things he wrote when he was stoned looked like shit in the morning light. Speed just made him rap all day. Reds laid him too far back. Cocaine rose was sweet to his nose, but the price nearly broke his back. He tried PCP, tried THC, but they didn't quite do the trick. Poppers nearly blew his heart. Mushrooms made him sick. Acid made him see the light, but he didn't remember it long. Hash was a little too weak, and smack was a lot too strong. Qualudes made him stumble. Booze just made him cry. And then he heard of a cat named Baba Fats who knew of the perfect high. Now, Baba Fats was a hermit cat, lived high up in Nepal, high on a craggy mountaintop, up a sheer and icy wall. But hell, says Roy, I'm a healthy boy, and I'll crawl or climb or fly till I find that guru who give me the clue as to what's the perfect high. So out and off goes give me some Roy to the land that knows no time. Up a trail no man could conquer to a cliff no man could climb. For 14 years he climbs that cliff. Back down again he'd slide. Sit and he'd cry and he'd climb some more pursuing the perfect high. Grinding his teeth, coughing blood, aching and shaking and weak. Starving and sore, bleeding and tore, he reaches the mountain peak. His eyes blink red like a snow-blind wolf, and he snarls the snarl of a rat. As there, in repose and wearing no clothes, sits the godlike Baba Fats. What's happening, Fats, says Roy with joy. I've come to state my biz. I hear you're hip to the perfect trip. Please tell me what it is. For you can see, says Roy to he, I'm about to die. So for my last ride, tell me how can I achieve the perfect high. Well, dog my cats, says Baba Fats, another burned out soul who's looking for an alchemist to turn his trip to gold. It isn't in a dealer's stash or on a druggist's shelf. Son, if you would find the perfect high, find it in yourself. Why, you jive, motherfucker, said Roy. I climbed through rain and sleet. I froze three fingers off my hands and four toes off my feet. I braved the lair of the polar bear. I tasted the maggot's kiss. Now you tell me the high is in myself. What kind of shit is this? <laughs> My ears before they froze off, said Roy. I'd heard all kinds of crap, but I didn't climb for 14 years to hear your sophomore rap. And I didn't climb up here to hear that the high is on the natch. Now you tell me what the real stuff is, or I'll kill your guru ass. Okay, okay, says Baba Fats. You're forcing it out of me. There is a land beyond the sun that's known as Zaboli, a wretched land of stone and sand where snakes and buzzards scream, and in that devil's garden blooms the mystic Tsutsu tree. And once every ten years it blooms one flower as white as the Key West sky. And he who eats of the tsutsu flower shall know the perfect eye. For the rush comes on like a tidal wave, hits like the blazing sun, and the high it lasts forever, and the down don't never come. But Zaboli land is ruled by a giant 
who stands twelve cubits high with eyes of red in his hundred heads he waits for the passerby and you must slay the red-eyed giant and swim the river of slime where the mucus beasts await to feast on those who journey by and if you slay the giant and beasts and swim the slimy sea there's a blood-drinking witch who sharpens her teeth as she guards the tsutsu tree to hell with you witches and giants, says Roy. To hell with the beasts of the sea. As long as the tsutsu flower still blooms, hope still blooms for me. With tears of joy in his sun-blind eyes, he slips the guru of five, and he crawls off down the mountainside, pursuing the perfect high. Well, that is that, says Baba Fats, sitting back down on his stone facing another thousand years of talking to God alone. Yes, Lord, it's all the same. Old men of bright-eyed youth, it's always easier to sell them some shit than it is to tell them the truth. <laughs>